Sky9 Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, the game changer of Chinese military technology. Asterisk Swarm. Why has China's Nine Heavens drone shocked the world? Why has China's drone aircraft carrier emerged? Hello everyone, I'm your old friend Hardcore Lao Wang, who focuses on the frontiers of military technology. Today, I'm going to reveal a global military secret that has even the US Pentagon trembling, China's Nine Heavens drone. This isn't a plot from a sci-fi movie, but a living reality about to make its maiden flight. Imagine an aircraft carrier in the sky capable of carrying hundreds of small drones, performing reconnaissance, strikes, and electronic warfare, with role conversion taking just two hours. Even more astonishingly, 10 such mother hens can deliver over 1,000 drones to a target area within 30 minutes, it's like bringing the saturation strike of army rocket artillery into the sky. This concept of a swarm mothership is unprecedented and groundbreaking. Its high-profile debut is far more than just a technological display, it also hides China's profound strategic intentions. Next, we will delve into how powerful the Nine Heavens drone really is, how it will change the future of warfare, and the deeper reasons behind China's decision to announce this game-changer at this time. Dear friends, let's first talk about how ferocious this Nine Heavens behemoth is. According to reports from People's Daily, this aircraft is truly an aerial giant, a takeoff weight of 16 tons, a wingspan of 25 meters, a maximum payload of 6 tons, a maximum altitude of 15,000 meters, flying higher than most civil airliners, and a top speed of 700 kilometers per hour. Most amazingly, its maximum range is 7,000 kilometers, meaning it can cover most of the globe to carry out long-range reconnaissance and strike missions. Even more incredibly, it can complete role conversions between reconnaissance, strikes, and electronic warfare in just two hours. It's like an Optimus Prime in the sky, with ultimate battlefield adaptability. The drone swarm tactics currently being developed by the US mostly remain at the level of coordinated operations by small drones. For example, their Paradox micro drones can fly in formation like flocks of birds for reconnaissance and jamming. However, these drones have very limited range, payload, and strike capabilities. What about the Nine Heavens? Its modular base can be equipped with 12 launch units, each capable of accommodating 8 to 10 small drones. This means a single Nine Heavens can carry hundreds of wingmen. Imagine 10 Nine Heavens forming a cluster, delivering over 1,000 drones to a target area within 30 minutes, it's like bringing the Army's rocket artillery carpet bombing tactics into the sky, but with drone carpet bombing that's more efficient, cheaper, and less risky. The emergence of this swarm mothership concept has completely subverted traditional air combat models. In the past, air combat relied mainly on a few high-performance manned aircraft for precision strikes or air combat. The arrival of the Nine Heavens indicates that future battlefields will see large-scale, low-cost drone cluster saturation attacks. This can not only effectively weaken enemy air defense systems but also use numerical superiority to break through opponents' defenses and deliver devastating blows to high-value targets. Currently, Western countries in the field of large drones mainly focus on combat reconnaissance integrated drones, such as the US Predator and Reaper drones, which prioritize single aircraft performance and long loitering capabilities. However, they have a generational gap with the Nine Heavens in drone cluster delivery capabilities. This difference shows that China may have achieved a corner overtaking in drone development, opening up a brand new combat model. So why has China chosen to publicly unveil this game changer at this time? Behind this is not just a technological breakthrough but also a profound strategic layout. Consider the volatile international situation and ongoing geopolitical conflicts. In this context, displaying strong military capabilities is a form of deterrence. It's like masters competing, showing your hand makes opponents think twice before acting. By doing so, China is undoubtedly declaring to the world that we have made significant progress in military technology, are capable of safeguarding national sovereignty and security, and can address various complex challenges. Looking at Western countries, they have always seen themselves as leaders in military technology. For example, the US has absolute advantages in stealth fighters and aircraft carriers. However, in drone swarm technology, although they are actively exploring it, there is currently no physical prototype similar to the Nine Heavens with the concept of an aerial drone aircraft carrier. The US Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, is researching the Gremlins project, aiming to enable large aircraft to carry and release small drones, but this is more about exploring recovery mechanisms and not comparable to the large-scale delivery capabilities of the Nine Heavens. 
European countries like the UK's Loyal Wingman project are still in the initial stages, aiming to provide drone support for manned fighters but not yet reaching the mothership level of the Nine Heavens. From a strategic perspective, China's high-profile announcement of the Nine Heavens is first and foremost a form of strategic deterrence. In the current complex and changing international situation, displaying strong military capabilities can effectively deter potential conflicts and maintain regional stability. Second, it reflects technological confidence, showing that China has independent R&D and innovation capabilities in high-end military technology and is no longer just a follower. This high-profile announcement can also prompt other countries to reassess China's military capabilities and influence their strategic decisions. Although Western countries have advantages in drones, in the specific field of drone aircraft carriers, China seems to be ahead, which will undoubtedly bring them enormous strategic pressure. Moreover, the emergence of the Nine Heavens also sends a clear message to the world, China is advancing military reform and innovation along a path different from the West. In the past, we may have mostly learned from Western military theories and equipment. Now, we are forging a unique development path, focusing on asymmetric warfare and leveraging our own advantages to achieve latecomer advantages. This spirit of innovation is the most formidable aspect. In recent years, the US has invested heavily in sixth-generation fighter projects, claiming to achieve generational advantages. But these projects mainly focus on the stealth capabilities, supersonic cruising ability, and advanced avionics of manned fighters. The Nine Heavens, however, takes a different approach, focusing on the combat effectiveness of drone clusters, a brand new combat concept. It's like when everyone is focused on building faster sports cars, China has built a giant truck capable of transporting hundreds of mini race cars at once. This shift in thinking may catch some traditional military powers off guard. The debut of the Nine Heavens can be seen as a microcosm of China's military strategy shifting from system confrontation to system disruption. Through large-scale drone cluster saturation attacks, it can effectively paralyze or even destroy critical enemy nodes, thereby dismantling their entire combat system. This asymmetric warfare approach poses a huge challenge to military forces overly reliant on a few high-value platforms, such as aircraft carriers and stealth fighters. Military theory and equipment development in Western countries are often constrained by existing systems, making it difficult to achieve disruptive innovation in a short time. China, however, can break free from traditional thinking frameworks and boldly experiment with new combat models, giving us a first-mover advantage in some emerging fields. From another perspective, the birth of the Nine Heavens also reflects China's enormous achievements in military-civilian integration. Drone technology itself originated in the civilian sector, and China is a global leader in both technology and production of civilian drones. This strong civilian foundation provides a continuous stream of innovative momentum and technical support for military drone development. Many technologies accumulated in civilian fields, such as artificial intelligence, big data, and communication technology, can be quickly converted for military use, accelerating the R&D process of high-tech equipment like the Nine Heavens. For example, European aerospace companies like Airbus are also exploring drone swarm technology but focus more on civilian applications such as logistics and inspections. Although they have military application ideas, they still lag behind China in technological accumulation and industrial scale in civilian drones. The US, despite having top military tech companies, has a relatively closed military industrial system, and the efficiency of converting civilian technology to military use is sometimes lower than China's. This allows China to more quickly transform civilian innovations into military advantages in some frontier technology fields. The military-civilian integration development model is an important engine for the rapid development of China's military technology. It can fully utilize scientific and technological innovation achievements and industrial advantages in civilian fields to provide strong support for military modernization. This model not only reduces R&D costs and shortens development cycles but also promotes rapid iteration and upgrading of military technology. For Western countries, although they also pursue military-civilian integration, their integration depth and efficiency may be lower than China's due to differences in institutional mechanisms and industrial structures. The success of this model indicates that future military technology competition will no longer be just a contest between military giants but a comparison of overall national scientific and technological strength, in which China clearly has unique advantages. Finally, we must recognize that the emergence of the Nine Heavens drone is not to provoke war but to maintain world peace. 
China has always pursued a defensive national defense policy, our military forces are for deterring aggression, not for aggression. A strong military is the cornerstone of safeguarding national sovereignty and security and an effective deterrent against any potential threats. When you have enough strength to protect yourself, others will think twice, and it's easier to sit down and talk about peace. Western countries often hype up the China threat theory, but this is a misinterpretation of China's rise. Looking at history, China has never taken the initiative to invade or expand externally. We develop military capabilities to have the ability to defend ourselves and to have sufficient strategic autonomy in a complex and changing international environment. When the US deploys military bases globally and conducts frequent military exercises, they call it maintaining regional stability. When China develops its own defensive weapons, it is labeled a threat, this is clearly a double standard. Emphasizing the defensive nature of the Nine Heavens is consistent with China's consistent path of peaceful development. A strong military is a guarantee of national security, but its ultimate goal is to maintain peace and stability, not for external expansion. In the current international situation, some Western countries are accustomed to hyping up the China threat theory to divert domestic conflicts or contain China's development. Therefore, in external propaganda, clearly emphasizing the defensive nature of weapons and equipment, combined with China's peace-loving national character and non-aggressive history, can effectively refute false claims and gain the understanding and support of the international community. At the same time, it also sends a message to the world, the strength of China's military is to build a more stable and prosperous world. Dear friends, the emergence of the Nine Heavens drone is undoubtedly a bombshell in the global military technology field. It not only demonstrates China's breakthroughs in drone technology but also reveals China's profound insights and strategic planning for future warfare. This is a real game-changer, but its ultimate goal is to make the light of peace shine further and disperse the haze of conflict as soon as possible. Dear viewers, how do you think the Nine Heavens drone will change future warfare? What impact will it have on the world order? Welcome to leave your insights in the comments section and discuss with Lao Wang. Don't forget to like, share, and let more people learn about the secrets of this aerial drone aircraft carrier. See you next time.